I'm standing here with Chris Anthony of the Vale Valley Foundation. Chris, thank you so much for meeting us out here this morning. Absolutely. It's a beautiful morning, a little brisk. There's a little frost on this it's grass here, but it's going to be a wonderful day. It's going to warm up, It'll be very hot. Yes, it is. So we are on day three of the GoPro Mountain Game. So you've kind of had your Ultimate Mountain Challenge kickoff. So give us a little information about how it's working for those who do not know, who maybe just got in town today, and what's, what else is in store? Absolutely. So I'm kind of the uh, person, the spokesperson and the front man for what is called the GMC Ultimate Mountain Challenge. So we have you know over 30 events going on here at the GoPro Games with athletes, uh, thousands of athletes competing in multiple things. Things. Every single one of those athletes has actually been entered into a very special contest, and that is the UMC, the Ultimate Mountain Challenge. But um, they, whether they know it or not, they're collecting points towards it, but there's the ones that have decided that they're going to go for the ultimate uh, prize, and that is to be the Ultimate Mountain Challenge champion. So it takes quite the tactics, because not only do you need to compete in multiple events, and like I said, there's 30 events, but you also need to place well in those events, and you're competing for points. And we're down to about 12 people that are kind of vying for that position, and uh, they're all separated by maybe five points right now as of noon yesterday. But um, the, there's some standouts now. It was kind of the kayakers were dominating at first because there was a lot of kayak events, and they seemed to be right at the top. But yesterday, since there was, you know, mountain biking events, running events, we had the dog run and human run, you know, like all sorts of things, Other and yoga kicking in, so you, people are collecting points. and. Uh, to the top of the uh, men's stage, for example, and I gotta read what this gentleman, Braid Braden Rikita, what he is going to be doing during this whole thing. So he uh, he ran the 5K with his dog. He um, did the enduro race yesterday morning, then came into Vail, that was an eagle, did the 5K. To this morning he's gonna do the um, mountain bike race, then he's gonna go run a 10K, then tomorrow he's gonna do the road time trial, and then do the Pepe's Hill Dash. So, you know, he's he's doing not only the so, so many events, but some of the hardest events. So because of that the point system will recognize that and it'll, it'll bonus him with a multiple on just the fact he's doing some of the hardest events but you can imagine over four days that's quite a few things to do and so right now he's at the top of the leaderboard and like one point behind him is uh, Nick Troutman who's a big kayaker and he's doing multiple events and signed up for 12 events here at the at the, the thing and then on the women's side there's uh, two girls kind of battling out Courtney Kieran and she said she's going after this title and also Adri Adrian Levchet Levnek is a uh, who big kayaker both of them are kayakers but both of them are stepping out of their comfort zones and doing other things like Ath Ashley Jackson um, she said if she has to she's going to do the Pepe's hill climb too to collect some points so it's been it's quite neat it's a it's a vent within our big event it is an event within a big event because there's so many things happening i'm still mind blown that that guy is participating in so many different events that are so challenging mm -hmm. and is still like motivated to go to the next one that is incredible yeah absolutely he's, he's a superhuman well <laughs> thank you so much for meeting us here this morning and giving us all of this great information i'm pretty excited to see who takes first place in yeah. all of these events all right coming up next we're going to take a look at that full weather forecast